In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create these stunning text effects to make your PowerPoints pop. Hello, I'm Mark Dixon and welcome back to another Tuesday Tech Tip. In a few weeks time, I'll be delivering a face-to-face -face session titled Navigating the Waves, Strategies to Support and Implement Mental Health and Resilience. And I'm using the metaphor of waves throughout the presentation. To help me structure this session, I'm putting together a PowerPoint slide deck of title pages. One of my favorite tricks is to create an engaging looping opening slide at the start of my presentations to capture the attention of everyone as they enter the room and settle in. I'll be showing you how to create a slide with video that plays inside text like this, or you can have a still image within the text like this, and I'll be showing you how to create this cool animated slide too. I've created chapters so you can jump straight to the method you want, and I've got a free download link to a handout and presentation so you can try this out for yourself as well. If you find this video useful, then please hit the subscribe button below and let me know what you create with it in the comments below. And if you're ready, let's jump in. Open up a blank slide in PowerPoint and create your title text in separate text boxes. Use a fat face font. My favorite is Montserrat Black, and you can get it for free from Google Fonts. Select the text elements and choose Shape Format in the menu bar and then Merge Shapes from the Insert Shape tab on the ribbon. Choose Union from the drop-down list. Next, draw out a rectangle that covers the words but doesn't cover the whole slide. Remove the outline and center back. Select the rectangle and then the text. It's really important to do it in this order for the mask to work properly. Again, choose Shape Format in the menu bar and then Merge Shapes from the Insert Shape tab on the ribbon and choose Subtract. Now you insert your video file. Insert, Video, This Device. Select the video and choose Playback from the menu bar. Choose Automatically from the Start drop-down menu and select the Loop Until Stopped checkbox. Select the video again and right-click Send to Back. Select the text box and change the color to your own liking. I prefer white. You can add any other text on top of your video. Play the slideshow. The video loops until you move the presentation forward. I love how the water reveals and hides the words as it washes down the screen. This will give your presentation some much needed impact and authority as your audience enters the room and settles in. You can use the same technique to mask an image inside of text just like this. On a blank slide, insert a rectangle and cover half of the slide. Remove the shape outline. Insert a text box and write out the title of your slide. Again, if you've got multiple lines, create these in separate text boxes. Select the text and choose Shape Format and Merge Shapes and select Union to combine the text. Select the colored rectangle and then the text. Choose Shape Format in the menu bar and then Merge Shapes from the Insert Shape tab on the ribbon and choose Subtract. Insert your image, then right click and center back. Select the rectangle and change the color to your own liking. I prefer white. You can also add any subheadings too. And voila, you've got a polished and professional PowerPoint slide. We can take this one step further and create this zooming text effect. Again, create a blank slide. Insert a rectangle and this time cover the whole slide with the rectangle. Remove the shape outline. Insert a text box and write out the title of your slide. Select the colored rectangle and then the text. Choose Shape Format in the menu bar and then Merge Shapes from the Insert Shape tab on the ribbon and choose Subtract. Select the rectangle and change the color to your own liking. I prefer white. Don't panic, it's still there. Select the shape, then right click and choose Save as Picture and choose Portable Network Graphics, or PNG, from the File Type drop-down. Insert your image, then right-click and center back. Now duplicate this slide. Zoom out as far as you can on the duplicated slide, then drag the corners to enlarge the text shape until the whole image can be seen within the text shape. If you run out of space to zoom further, select the text shape and right-click and choose Size and Position to open the format shape settings. 
Select the Lock Aspect Ratio checkbox and choose the upper arrow on the Scale Height button until the whole slide is visible within one of the text characters, ideally near the middle of the word. Next, select the image, not the text, and slightly enlarge that too. You can also add your slide text too and include a fade animation that plays after the slide transition. Now choose more from the Transitions menu. And there you go, you've now got a picture-perfect PowerPoint presentation. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. If you found it useful, then please do hit that subscribe button and share it with a colleague. And I'll see you again for another Tuesday Tech Tip.